You have previously entered not guilty to these indictments, and I understand that you wish to dispose of these matters by offering pleas of guilty today. Is that correct? Yes, I do. Nathaniel Kibbe pleads guilty to the kidnapping and rape of a North Conway teenager in 2013. The girl was in the Laconia courtroom to face the man who held her captive and say, quote, there are certain aspects of my freedom that I can never get back, but in the same aspect, I want you to know that I appreciate my freedom because of you and that I enjoy and appreciate my life because of you, end quote. Assistant Attorney General Jane Young described in detail what nine months in captivity was like for the victim. Kibbe holding her in a storage container on his property in Gorham, New Hampshire, sexually assaulting her nearly every day. According to court documents, during the time she was held, Kibbe used a taser to punish her when she tried to identify Kibbe in a letter to her mother, who was also in court today and confronted her daughter's kidnapper, saying, quote, it was such a devastating day in my life. I wish I could hear from you. Why? Kibbe remained silent. He faced more than 180 charges, but most will be nullified under the terms of his plea agreement, bringing some closure to the victim and her family more than two and a half years after their nightmare began. Let her be what she is, a survivor. She's going to school. This is a kid who didn't get to go to her prom, didn't get to go to a graduation. Please respect her. Kibbe pleaded guilty to seven charges, including kidnapping, sexual assault, criminal threatening, and others. He will serve 45 to 90 years in prison. Live in the studio, Courtney Sturgeon, WMTW News 8.